Hi everyone, how you doing? In this tutorial, what I want to talk about is actually desktop environments within virtual private server or VPS. And so we're pretty much going to be discussing on how to set one up. It seems like that's one of the questions that come up quite often when I talk to folks about VPS servers. So we're going to start right off here. I've already got a VPS server set up. Um, uh, with CentOS 6.5 and so I'm gonna remote into that using shell and then we'll take a look at it with the steps uh, the commands that I have here and we'll inject some commands to get that going uh, first off let's establish a connection okay we we'll confirm we'll put our password and we're at the prompt so we're connected to the server the first thing you want to do is actually um, run this command here to update your uh, server. Okay, uh, it's going to take some time, so I'm going to put some pause, and I'll be right back. You know, again, what we're doing here is we're actually installing Genome Desktop uh, within a VPS or virtual private server, and that's pretty much what all the folks or a lot of folks has been asking me uh, when it comes to a VPS because they're more comfortable with the desktop. They prefer doing or working with the server with a desktop. So, what we're doing here is we're actually installing a software called Tiger VNC so that we can actually access this VPS server. So, what we're going to do next is uh, we actually ran update already. Next, we're going to run upgrade to see if there's anything out there that needs to be upgraded. Uh, and it looks like there isn't, so we'll leave it at that. Next, we actually want to install the VNC software itself. Okay, get that going here. And then after the Tiger VNC software, we want to install the actual desktop itself. So I'm going to put this on pause, and I'll be right back. Let install the desktop. is done installing what I typically typically like to do is actually install Firefox just so that I have a web browser already installed when I remote into the desktop again I have these instructions and I will post it down below um, just so that you have access to these uh, commands and you can actually just copy and paste them within your VPS server uh, shell prompt so that should speed the process for you as well okay so we have Firefox installed next we need to configure VNC server so let's edit the file VNC server and that's actually located here okay you want to hit I so you can actually insert into this config file what we want to do is actually put in two parameters. We want to put in VNC servers equal okay quote one colon root. And we're going to use a root account to actually log into the server here. Okay, VNC server. And don't worry too much about what I'm putting in here. I'm going to actually post a link so that you have access to this. And you can just easily copy and paste this command um, right, into your, uh, right into your shell prompt. Now what I'm doing uh, with this line is I'm actually defining the size of the screen when I remote into this um, server here. So if you're using a small screen use a small resolution size uh, if you have a larger screen then you can probably uh, utilize the, the um, larger screen resolution but for the sake of this demonstration I'm gonna use 1600 by 1000 okay so that's good let's escape colon X to save and close okay Next, next, let's uh, set up a password for VNC. Okay, VNC PASSWD, enter. 
Let's put in our password. Let's confirm our password again. Okay, so password has been entered and set. Now, let's make sure VNC server starts on boot. VNC server on. Okay. And then now let's uh, edit the RC file so that it'll run this during boot up. And what we want to do is actually uh, put in Google's name server. And let's do this here. Let's say echo name server 8888 into the file etc resolve.conf. Okay, do that again. Name server, and if you don't do this, um, the website will not resolve, or, or oh, that is it. You have to inject these two name servers, and these are actually just Google public name servers or DNS servers. So that way, if you're searching um, through your web browser, um, it'll resolve. So what it's doing is it's actually just putting these two name servers into this file here. It just appends to it. So let's go ahead and save this. Escape, colon, X, enter. Okay, we got that saved. Now let's reboot the system. What I have done already is actually uh, downloaded the software VNC Viewer. Okay. We'll let that sit there. Let's make sure this is actually up and running. Now, if you haven't, um, okay, server is back up. Yep, server is back up. So, if you haven't downloaded VNC, you want to go to the website. Just go to Google, type in VNC Viewer, and then download the Mac version if you have Mac, or uh, download the uh, Windows version if you're on a, a Windows operating system. So, the system is up. Let's go ahead and connect. And I've already got Cancel. I've already got my IPA address in here uh, utilizing port 1. That's a standard uh, setup. So this gives me a warning, but I'm going to go ahead and proceed. It's going to ask me for the password that I entered in earlier. I'm going to enter that in, tick OK. As you can see, I'm actually inside the uh, desktop of the virtual private server. So this is actually how it looks like. Um, what I normally like to do is actually open this up here and make sure that I'm actually uh, getting access to the internet. Let's see here. Okay. Let's just look for something simple. Actually, let's go here. This is where I posted the how-to. And so I'll also include the link at the bottom so that you'll have access to this. But this is basically the how-to here. It'll tell you what you need to do and the steps you need to take to actually accomplish this. Um, so that is actually it. Um, if you like this video tutorial, please uh, like and also share. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Uh, once again, thank you.